Hello everybody and welcome. I'm your host, Man of the Ritz. That idea just kind of came out of left field. Don't ask. I have a feeling that today's draft is going to be kind of difficult, but... Maybe it'll be one of the ones that surprisingly becomes easy, I'm not sure. I know there is quite a bit of second and third generation NHL players, as well as players that have brothers, but I don't know. I still feel like this is going to be challenging. And the stipulation is that they just have to have played in the NHL. So they can play one game and then go play for another league, but they still technically played. So that would be allowed. I'm just trying to think of off the top of my head some players that we could draft. So Stasny is one, because I guess he's the second generation. Not third. I think he's second. And then we have brothers like the Felinos. There's also the Joneses, the Kachucks, Stroms, Tanevs. Okay, maybe this won't be as difficult as I thought. But we do still have to fill a full roster. And that includes goalies. So guess we'll find out very soon. I'm going to randomize the team. We get the Dallas Stars, let's do it. How about you don't tell me what to do, and also, Jabroni, injuries are off, so your services are no longer needed. But I will, in fact, turn on Fantasy Draft, because that's sort of the whole point here. You know what? I'm gonna leave player morale on this time. I will for sure have to turn off morale meetings, because there is no chance I'm talking to any of these players. Oh, you have a problem with your ice time? Maybe you should play better. Let's go with draft pick number nine. Just pull numbers out of nowhere at this point. But I mean, you kind of do that anyway, so like... No way! Absolutely no way! You know, I guess you make a thousand draft videos, you have a 1 in 32 shot, eventually you're gonna hit. But alright, the ninth pick is pretty good. Will Chuck E. Cheese go before that is the question. I feel like he's probably gonna be the highest overall player we can get, unless I'm missing someone obvious. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Vancouver! Alright, they are our new rival. Thankfully, Jason is here to save the day. Technically, we could also take Pedersen. But I think I'm gonna go with Mr. Robertson. Left wing sniper, 91 overall. That is a good way to start off this team. Okay, you know what? I'm down. We've got Michael Stone and we sure got Mark Stone. Couple abilities sprinkled in there. Don't mind if I do. I think for goalies, we're kind of screwed. I can take Subban who is probably low 80s. Never mind, 79. Okay, we gotta find a starter here somewhere. So I did find something with Jonathan Quick, some relation, but it's pretty far-fetched. So I think Charlie Lindgren's probably gonna be our best bet. And then we're gonna have to take Subban as the backup. So I'm not taking a goalie yet. Basically the summary of that. I'm so happy for Wikipedia right now because I never would have known this, but Alexander True is a first cousin to Nikolai Ehlers, so. That makes him eligible, and I'm going to go ahead and make that selection. So, we do need a centerman, but probably one of those guys could play center if they really wanted to. I'm also going to allow Uncle Nephews because, you know, we got to try and give ourselves anything we can here. So, Drake Batherson had an uncle whose name was Vile or something like that. Dennis Vile, to be exact. So, there's our centerman. Really need some defensemen. And there you go, 9.5 million. Very excessive, but I'm gonna sign the contract nonetheless. Boom. Carl Klingberg played a few games in the NHL and that's all that matters. So that makes John eligible and that will be our first defensive pair. All right. So that part actually went a bit better than expected. Brock Nelson has an uncle named Dave Christian who played over a thousand NHL games. So very eligible. Again, the contract not the best. But we don't really have a whole lot of options. Tyson Berry's father played a few NHL games. It's another good defenseman and we're going to need them because our goalie's not going to be the best. Oh, perfect. How'd I not think of Max Domi, another centerman, absolutely joining our roster. He even plays for the Stars. We're just bringing him back home. I don't know why I have this feeling, but forwards just seem to be easier. So any defenseman I see, I'm going to draft. And Tanev is one of those. 4.5 million is doable at 84 overall. So there's our top four. And you know what? Doesn't look too bad. Suter also had an uncle that played in the NHL, but I'm gonna hold on to that because I feel like he gets drafted super late. I'm trying to find some good contracts here and Phil Kessel's first cousin is David Moss, who played in the NHL, of course. Otherwise I wouldn't be saying it. So Phil the Thrill, a veteran of these drafts once again, We'll be joining the roster. I don't think we have to race to this pick, but I'm going to do it regardless just because we are absolutely screwed if I don't. So Charlie Lindgren will be 
on the Dallas Stars roster as of right now. I'm even learning today. I had no idea that Josh Manson's dad played in the NHL. But you learn something new every day. And also, you draft a new player right now. Got mentioned in the intro, it has to be done. Marcus Foligno joining your Dallas Stars. And actually, plays for the Minnesota Wild and currently going up against the Stars in the playoffs. I mean, by the time this video comes out, the first round might be over. In fact, I think it likely will be. How could I forget Luke and Braden Shen? Do we need a right-handed defenseman? Probably not. But I think I'm gonna do it anyway. In fact, you know what? I am gonna do it. How about you try to stop me? Hold on. Um, stopping myself real quick. TVR. Oh, he's also right-handed. Okay, so... Comes down to... Do we want TVR or do we want LS? Defenseman. So we have Jones, who's right-handed. And then we have Barry, who's right-handed. Then we have Klingberg, who- Oh! You gotta stay with the trend, right? At this point, you might as well just commit to it. So, I will in fact be drafting another right-handed defenseman. Just a matter of which right-handed defenseman will I be drafting. They're both defensive defensemen as well. They're really not giving me anything to go off of here. I don't know what I'm doing. My brain is just farting at the moment. Simply due to the fact that he has five-star physical. He is the intimidator. Lucas Shen. Joining the roster. We're at the point of the draft. I don't really need to worry about our players getting snatched. So I'm going to go ahead. Take Malcolm Subban before it's too late. And our goaltender duo is set in stone. So now we simply need four forwards. And we have 11 million dollars to do it. That's not too bad. As annoying as it is to look up. Some of these players, because I have no idea, obviously. It's kind of cool. I'm learning a bunch, and apparently Zach Parise had a dad named Jean Paul, who played almost 900 NHL games. The more you know. I can't believe that every single one of our defensemen shoot right. Absolutely outrageous. Well, Brandon, yeah, why not? Listen, I want to take James as much as the next guy, but $7 million is a no-can-do. Charlie Coyle's eligible because he's cousins with Tony Amonte and Bobby Sheehan. 5.2, though. I gotta try and find another player first. He'll definitely still be there next round. He may have only played 43 NHL games, but Miles O'Connor, father of Logan, was in the NHL. So that is a much-needed right winger. And I think we should still have cap space for Coyle. I didn't really look at how much we had. Yeah. Perfect. You have got to be kidding me. Coil's gone. He'll definitely still be there next round. Oh, perfect. There we go. Paul Stasny, 85 face-offs. Couldn't make an easier decision. Joining the team at 79 overall. And we are done. Initially, don't think we're going to be too good. Because our goaltending situation is in the gutter. But, we do have some very good defensemen. And on top of that, our forwards aren't too shabby. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to make any sort of decision on how I think this team will do until I see the lines put together. Will we have chemistry? I don't know why I kept player morale on. No idea. It's going to be annoying just constantly popping up. Boom! There it is. Jabroni, I don't think so. We get a plus five on the first line. Dash one here. That's fixable. Um, yeah, there we go. You can play fourth line. What an absolute thing of beauty. So we have 5,000 for offense. Good with that. Defense? Oh no. Oh dear. This is really not good. There's not even much I can do about it. No matter what I do, we just stay bad. Oh, well, you know, take the dash three, I suppose. Absolutely not. I was sat here. Actually, I was standing just a moment ago saying how our defense were sick. I was singing their praises and then they go ahead and let me down. Is it the coach? Should I get a different coach? A more defensive coach? I just might have to. There's our goaltending. We got Lindgren, Subban. Not great. Can hopefully get the job done. Coaching staff. Yeah, we have an A- right now for our head coach. Don't really want to get rid of him. Can't lie. What if I can our associate coach, though? And pick out this guy who's a defensive specialist. He's got a 51% team fit. So, yeah. I think we're just screwed defensively. That's... All I can really say. You know what? Whatever. I don't need chemistry anyway. I want to say we're going to make the playoffs, but <laughs> I just, I don't know if I can. You know what? I'm going to say we don't make the playoffs. We get 35 wins. So that way, if I'm wrong, at least we made the playoffs. And, you know, I'll be gassed about that. Cheeky little one and two start. That's huge. Massive win. Okay. No. 
Oh dear. I mean, I could try to trade for a left-handed defenseman, but I don't even know if that will really help us that much. Yeah, you know what? This is going to take forever. I think we just are what we are at this point. Maybe if we pick up Ryan Lindgren, he'll help his brother out a little bit. Caleb Jones on the same team, and he's also left-handed. You know what? Let's cook something up here. They want John Klingberg. They also want Seth Jones, but no thank you. Yeah, I'd be willing to give up Johnny Boy, I guess. Offensive defenseman, sure. That basically covers the value. Well... Not quite. Tell you what, I'll give you Grushnikov as well. Yeah? I'm probably getting fleeced on this, but does it really matter? No, because it's a one-year sim. The cap works. We're getting two left-handed defensemen who have brothers in the NHL. I think it's worth the Hail Mary at this point. So propose trade. Boom. Haha. <laughs> yeah, fans are going to think you're an idiot. Uh, they already do. So what else is new? Moment of truth. Is the chemistry better? Okay. Nice. We got double zeros. I'll take that. And then we just have a dash three here. Very unfortunate. But what can you do? Oh, they get a plus one. I don't know why these lads get a dash three, but they sure do. What if I do that? No. Okay. Also, no. No. All right. Let's just leave it at this maybe because that way we at least get one plus one. And then we have a zero. This last pair is just miserable. They're going to go dash 972 but at least it's better than before i think all right we're bringing it back here a little bit let's go dallas stars this is a big win streak florida another win the isles what is going on all right we finally got taken down and that's probably going to lead to a 73 game losing streak but you know what what a run i might try to trade out another defenseman at the deadline we'll see who's available but look at this turnaround. I have no idea where that came from. We're fourth in the division. Our, our what now? I was going to say our league isn't that good. Uh, Well, actually, I mean, it's all right. You know, the NHL has a couple talented people here and there. But what I meant to say is our record's not that good. I woke up super early this morning, so my brain is not fully there. Conservative buyer. Enter the deadline. Show me a defenseman that has some kind of relation. Lindholm. Maybe? Mark Edward Vlasic has a cousin, Alex, who hasn't played a whole lot of games in the NHL, but that doesn't matter. He shoots left. Maybe? That was literally the exact maybe that I gave to Lindholm. And Lindholm was not, which I was kind of surprised about, honestly. I'm going to try to add a third just because why not? Does it matter? No. I'll remove it to make the trade go through, but I feel like we're getting finessed otherwise, and I just don't want to have that feeling. So maybe a fifth? That might work. Proposed trade. Really? Will you even do one for one? Okay, yeah, of course. A fifth round pick is an absolutely not. You're dumb. And then one for one is... <laughs> what kind of GM are you? Ooh, a pretty big trade going on right here between the Colorado Avalanche and the Washington Capitals. Wait a minute. Oh, they're actually just putting O'Connor on the third line now with best lines. I was very curious as to why the dash one suddenly disappeared. But that explains everything. Defensively, why? Why? Can I do anything to fix this? Can I take out Tanev? Do we have Manson? Boom. Get in there. Wow, thanks for that. All right, I've decided there's just nothing we can do. We're going to run with this. The 0, 1, and minus 3. Got to do what you got to do. Our team's been on a bit of a run here. Hopefully the post-trade deadline doesn't kill us. But I don't have a good feeling. 7-5 loss to the Avs. Can't really blame the offense there. Five goals should be enough. 8-5 dub over the Kraken. Okay, we're cooking here. We are currently what in the division? Fourth. We're fighting. That's a big L. That's all right. We bounce back with a win. Okay, let's go. We are up to third in the division now. Not catching the second place team. That is a gap if I've ever seen one. But you know what? I think that your Dallas Stars are in the Stanley Cup play. And how about that? We go up against the Minnesota Wild. I will gladly take third in the division. That is perfectly okay with me. In the entire league, we have the New Jersey Devils winning the President's Trophy. They had Bergeron, Dreisaitl, and Kane. What a first line. Then they had Sagan, Kopitar, and Smith, Moore, McLeod, Ballsters. Good team. Theodore and Burns. With Ranta and Nett, Bobrovsky, they have a very solid squad. 
Understandable. Have a nice day. Toronto does not make it in. Neither does Detroit. But St. Louis sure does at 1-8. And let's see who finished last. Just for fun, we get the Columbus Blue Jackets. They have Barkov, Buchnevich, and Boldy. Barzell on the second line. Craig and Freddie and Nett. The Anderson and Anderson. Tell me how I'm just now realizing that we also brought Jason Robertson back home. AKA to the stars. I didn't see it before. He led the team with 74 points. We got 65 from Drake. 64 from Marcus. And then 59 from Ehlers. Pretty good season from Domi. Barry had 50, which for a defenseman is solid. And I don't even think he was on the first pair. Maybe he was. Goaltenders. Lindgren had an 896. Malcolm Subban, though. 921, 227. Didn't play a whole lot of games, but those are some good numbers. Darcy Kemper had the most W's with 42. Igor had a 924 save percentage, however. Incredible scene. Kill was the defensive leader. Point of game. Legendary season. EK65 just doing what EK65 does. Putting up points. And nobody broke 100. Matthews with 98 would be the closest, and it looks like he probably won the Rocket Richard as well. Then we got Cooch, Pasta... Sebastian, let's sort by goals. I'm curious. Yeah. Well, actually, no, they tied. The real question that I want the answer to is who had the most scarps? Felino. Love that for you. He even beat out Tanner. Absolutely massive. He also had the most pims, which checks out. All right, here we go. Minnesota, Dallas, round one. Let's sim past the first four games and see where we find ourselves. That's not a good way to start. Oh, no. Okay, we got one W, so that's massive. Can we get another? No. The Wild absolutely whacks us. I'm just happy we made it in. Honestly, didn't see it coming. And the Broad Street Bullies go on to win the Stanley Cup. All right, let's go look at some playoff stats here. More than point a game out of Jason. He had his guy. Stone with four. Tanev with four. Brandon. What a legend. He had a 50% for the shooting percentage. Hello? Charlie didn't even do bad. 913, 302. I guess we probably let up a lot of shots, so it's kind of weird, but didn't do too bad. The greatest mustache in the league with 16 W's because that's how many it takes to win a Stanley Cup, obviously. 912 save percentage. Good job, Stewie. John Carlson led defenseman by quite a bit. Almost point a game in the playoffs, which is outrageous. And your Con Smythe winner, Tage Thompson. I love that he has an X-Factor now. That is phenomenal. I doubt we won any awards, but that's not going to stop me from checking. You know what I'm saying? Any Dallas Stars? Wait, hold on. a boy. I don't even know who that is. But he won the Calder, so must have had a pretty good year. And no. No Dallas. Well, there you have it. Your playoff tree. The team that deleted us made light work of everybody up until the Stanley Cup Finals. And the Flyers also never went to seven. So it was a relatively easy run for those dudes. Well, thank you for the suggestion. Thank you for watching. Appreciate yous. Um, stats show that 583% of you watching this aren't subscribed. It's a pretty substantial number. Just saying. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.